Let's imagine your body is like a big house, with many different rooms, organs like your heart, brain, skin. What is maternal fetal microchimerism? During pregnancy, something truly amazing happens between a mother and her baby. It's called maternal fetal microchimerism. Micro ky merism. Microchimerism means having tiny bits of someone else's cells living in your body. Think of a chimera as a mythological creature made of different parts. Here, it's a person who has a small amount of cells that are genetically different from most of their own cells. So, maternal fetal microchimerism simply means, during pregnancy, some of the baby's cells travel into the mother's body, and some of the mother's cells travel into the baby's body. This happens back and forth across the placenta, the special organ that connects the baby to the mother, providing food and oxygen. Scientists have found something truly astonishing. These tiny cells from the baby are not just passing through. They can actually stay in the mother's body for years, even decades, after the baby is born, and they seem to do incredible things to help the mother. Think of it like this. Specialized repair crew. Many of these baby cells are like stem cells. A stem cell is a special kind of cell that hasn't decided what it wants to be yet. It's like a blank slate that can grow up to become almost any other type of cell. A heart cell, a brain cell, a skin cell, etc. Differentiate means these stem cells can transform or change into specific types of cells needed in the mother's body. Research suggests these baby cells seem to have a knack for finding trouble spots in the mother's body. If the mother has an injury or a disease, these baby cells appear to migrate, meaning they travel to that specific damaged area. If a mother's heart is damaged, like from a heart attack, which doctors call a myocardial infarction, these baby cells can go to the heart. Once there, they can transform into new heart muscle cells, or cells that help build blood vessels, potentially helping to repair the damage. It's like the baby sent its own little repair team to mend the mother's heart. They've also been found in scars, suggesting they help with the body's natural healing process after surgery or injuries. They've been found in the mother's brain, liver, lungs, kidneys and skin, hinting that they might be helping to maintain and repair all sorts of parts of her body. These baby cells might also subtly influence the mother's immune system. They help her body accept the baby during pregnancy, and they might even help protect her from certain illnesses or, in some complex cases, influence autoimmune conditions where the immune system mistakenly attacks the body. This discovery changes our understanding. We often think of pregnancy as the mother giving everything to the baby. But this shows a mutual two-way street where the baby is also giving back, sharing its healing cells with the mother, strengthening her, and leaving a biological legacy that can last a lifetime. It's an incredible story of inherent interconnectedness and self-sacrifice at a cellular level. Creation speaks eloquently of its creator, Jesus Christ, and the gospel.